Hello everyone, Mulrat here. Um, I am makeupless at the moment because today we're going to be doing a first impressions video on some makeup products that I received in the mail. Um, all the products that I'm going to be mentioning today are going to be from Rude Cosmetics. They are a cruelty-free brand. They reached out to me saying they wanted to send me some stuff um, for review and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I don't have a full face of makeup here, but I will attempt to use every product that I have here. So I, so I have a few, including a makeup palette, some setting powder, brow stuff, concealer, and some liquid eyeshadow. And yeah, oh, I also got, I also got this, which is a charcoal blackhead face peel off mask. I have used this, it's pretty good. It's not the best of the blackhead masks and I personally think that the pore strips are better, but it did leave my skin feeling quite nice and it didn't tingle or anything like that. So that's that. And everything here is actually, well, everything from this brand is actually quite reasonably priced. So I don't have a foundation, I have a concealer. I'm just going to go ahead lay my foundation down and then I'm going to get into the concealer. Okay, so now that my foundation is on and I'm looking pretty weird at the moment and you, I know I know some people are going to comment, oh, it's too light for you um, because I do mix white into my foundation. Um, if you see, well, if you saw before, my face is really red and that's typically from my acne treatments and I probably exfoliate my skin a little too often, but that's just how I do it. But this foundation oxidizes a little bit and it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good match. Um, yeah, I've got really red hands like all the time because my hands are forever cold. It's a side effect of um, low blood pressure. I didn't know that until my doctor kept talking about how cold my hands were. So the first product from Rude Cosmetics that I'm going to be using is the Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the lightest shade and it's just called Light. Um, I'm worried about this being too dark and also too yellow. Um, so let's get to using this. I don't often use concealer, but I guess I'm a proper beauty guru today. I don't think this concealer is the right shade, but it was the lightest one that they had. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that removing all my foundation? It is, holy crap. Now, I don't have this problem with the ColourPop concealer. I actually really like that one. Um, oh my goodness. I've got patches of foundation removed. This is not good. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to apply a little bit more of this concealer with I put it onto the beauty blender and then try and fix this mess up. Oh. Please, makeup gods, allow me to actually have a good face so I don't have to redo all of this. <sighs> okay, I think that's fixed it. I think that's fixed it a little bit. Okay, so it looks like the way to apply this one is just apply it directly to a brush or a beauty blender because putting it directly on the face seems like a dumb idea, but that's what I normally do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I nearly did that. Oh my gosh. I would have had to. The nose is like the hardest place to fix up. Not too shabby. I, I can see where the concealer and my foundation are just like not having it, which is unfortunate. Maybe maybe it's the primer that I use. I use the 
and I'm nearly out, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer um, because this is the one that I've found works the absolute best with my daily foundations and I absolutely adore this primer. Maybe I should have used a different one, but I'm, I don't know, I'm not overly happy with this base. But let's continue. So now I'm just going to powder the rest of my face. Bring me up to an acceptable level. All right, I am set, I am contoured. Let's get into the next product, which is a brow product. This is the Brow and Eyeliner Cream, and this is in the darkest shade called Dark Side. All right, now let's get into this. My regular brow brush, this is my favorite. This is the LA Splash brow brush, but it's got a weird eyeshadow thing on the other end. Um, so far, it feels... It feels a little bit more liquidy than my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow. Um, feels more like the consistency of the Kat Von D one, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Actually, I pretty much I hate the product. But, you know, who knows? I may absolutely adore this. <laughs> so far, so good. I like how this is going on. See, the problem that I had with the Kat Von D one, and I look super angry. The problem that I had with the Kat Von D brow crap, the 24 hour brow crap, um, was that it seemed to slide around way too much on the face as you were trying to put it on. And I ended up screwing my brows up constantly, but this isn't like that. Not mad at this. I actually quite like it. That's pretty good. Not too bad, actually. Except for, you know, the mistakes. I'll fix that up right now. Um, I might as well use that concealer again, because again, I usually ah, use the ColourPop. Actually, I did use the OCC one for a really long time. But whatever happened to that company, I don't know. OCC just shut down one day, and I don't know, everyone freaked out, including myself, because I loved that concealer. Um, this brow stuff seems to dry down really well as well, so I don't have to like set it with a corresponding eyeshadow, um, which is great. Next up, really happy with the brow products by the way. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy with that. Next up is the Say Fantastique palette, which is by them. They have a few of these palettes. This is the one that I read through the ingredients of, well, I read through the ingredients of everything because they have a lot of things that aren't vegan friendly. As I said before, they're cruelty free, but things, some things aren't just vegan friendly. Um, but this palette, as far as I saw in the ingredients, I could have made a mistake, but um, I double checked um, and triple checked, but I still may have missed something. This is a vegan palette. It's a very colorful palette and there are a lot of French words within this, so I, I don't know. Some of them I'm not even going to bother to attempt because I know I will butcher the French language and have 
the whole of France come after me for destroying their beautiful language. Um, but let's get into this and try this palette. I have already primed my eyes. I used the Fenty Beauty um, eye primer. As far as I see that this this one is vegan, um, I have been testing out a whole bunch of Fenty Beauty products, um, except for the foundation because they're always sold out of that. Um, but this primer I found works best if you put it on with your foundation primer because it's a really good primer. It helps your eyes stay all day, but if you put it on top of foundation, it will strip that shit away and make your eyes look really strange. I'm just going to get straight into this and I'm going to try and make a really good look. So, the first shade I will use is... What did I say before? I was going to not attempt to say these, but I just realized I kind of have to. So, if you are French or speak French, I'm really sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Sorry. For what's about to come, this is going to be the butchering of your language. So I'm going to use new, N-U-E, and I'm going to just plop that all over. I kind of wish there was like a white or a slightly off white to do the base. Bam. Bam. That's just to like set everything to make sure my primer isn't creasing or anything like that. What colors am I feeling today? I'm, I'm really feeling this shade down here. Um, in obliable. In obliable. Let's Google this shit. In Okay. Oh, it means unforgettable in French. I'm learning. Let's see. Inoubliable. 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 Ooh, I can speak French now. Inoubliable. I'm going. That shade looks super appealing to me. So I'm going to take a flat shade brush and smother myself in this shit. Inoubliable. Inoubliable. There is a ton of fallout. All right. Disaster averted. I'm really loving this color. I love everything teal and turquoise. I think I will go in with Sherry. I know that one. And I will use that. I love the look of teals and turquoises with purples. I love purple as well. with that color it's not as purple as I expected um, it looks more like a magenta with a slight purple hint um, but that's okay that's all good let's take this in the direction of pink now I'm going to take the shade Jette d'eau Jette d'eau let's look up this one too Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Ooh, I'm learning heaps of French today. So that means I adore you in French. I'm going to take that shade. Oh shit. 
lots of fallout on that one. And I'm just going to toss that up the top. Which one shall we go with next? Um, I feel like groups of four, or yeah, four, are good colour stories, and I've totally gone against that, so having a bit of difficulty. Let's go with the shade Folly. Like All right. I want some more purple in this. Hmm. Actually, first, I'm going to make the lower lash line all pink and purple. So, I'm going to take the shade Bell, I know that word, and I'm going to place that over the whole entire lower lash line. Oh, dang. I love that pink. I adore that pink. And I'm going to blend it out using Jette Do again. Oh, that pink though. I love it. I think I'm aiming for the look of living in an alternate universe where bruises appear as fluorescent pink. I think I'm nailing it so far. I'm going to take that shade Bell again and I'm just going to put a little bit on the upper crease area on the outside of my eyes just to kind of make it a bit more cohesive. There we go. Um, now what shall we do? Um, I don't know how this is going to work out because it is a foil kind of eyeshadow. I'm going to take Loon and I'm going to try and put that on the outer corner area, about the outer third. Um, I don't know if this is going to work out because foil shadows seem to be really picky. Some like to be mixed in with mattes, others no. Lots of fallout again. Hmm. Guess we need that. Doing too bad. It's not wanting to blend in with this teal, but you know, I'm kind of forcing them to exist in harmony. Maybe not harmony, but you know, tolerability. Okay, I'm gonna lay a bit of that purple on the outer area of my lower lash line. Just a small smidgen. Hmm. I think I'll go with that one for the inner corner. Just something like super, yeah. So what's, how do you say this word? I'm trying to look at the Hmm. Okay, YouTube, you have failed me. Let's go back to Google. Okay. 
Is it booze? That booze? I don't know what it means. It doesn't have a definition here. So I'm going to put that on my inner corner area. I am not mad at that. I really like this look. Um, the final product, I just remembered I have this, is the liquid eyeshadow and it's glitter. I look at this as more like the, um, like the Black Moon ones that I love and adore. So... I don't know what I'm going to do because I completely forgot about this. Actually, I love glitter. Don't get me wrong, but I wasn't planning on glitter today. I might apply this along the lower area. I am noticing how it, the glitter wants to cluster together um, and that's kind of not annoying me but it's um, mainly because I'm used to working with the Black Moon and the Illamasqua ones. Um, they don't do this but I do like this. It's a very subtle silver glitter. <laughs> Now I've just got to line my eyes, put on mascara and some lipstick, and I will be back for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on the products that I got from Rude Cosmetics is, well, one, I talked about this. It's pretty good. It makes my skin feel good. It's not the best at, um, you know, pulling the blackheads out of the pores. Um, I'll stick with pore strips for that, but for a face mask, it's pretty good. So I enjoy that and I'll probably repurchase that. Next up, I'm, I'm not going in chronological order, it's just whatever's in front of me. Um, the Star Party Liquid Eyeshadow. I like it. It's pretty basic, you know, all these glitters, eye glitters are really basic. They're pretty self-explanatory. I do have a preference for the Black Moon ones because I feel like they are easier to blend and, you know, move around and manipulate. Whereas this one, it dried really quickly and um, didn't want to blend that well and the glitter kind of clustered together. So it, it's pretty good, but besides that and the fact you've got to really work with it, you know, convince it to move its ass, it's pretty good. And they're quite affordable and cheap, so I would probably buy more of these because I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Next up, the concealer. I didn't like how this worked with my foundation. And, and maybe it's because I'm really picky with my foundations and all of that because I have some really oily patches and some really dry patches. Um, a lot of them don't like to work with me. This, when I put it on, onto the beauty blender and then onto my face it seemed to work a lot better than directly applying it to the face so that's something to keep in mind if you do decide to get this um, it didn't work that well with that particular foundation i will have to keep working playing with this um, just to see whether it's it's just the foundation or whether it's my skin or the primer or something like that so i will update this in the future after I play around with it for a little while. The next product is the under eye setting powder. It's a setting powder, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I don't know, I didn't notice anything super great about this, but it wasn't bad either. Very affordable, so um, I guess that's something. Next up is the brow gel. I love this. I actually really adore this. I almost like it as much as my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which is saying something. The The texture and the consistency of the product is very similar to the Kat Von D 24 Hour Brows, however, it doesn't slide around when it gets onto the skin like the Kat Von D one. It is, the Kat Von D one is like, whoa, 
it feels like you're slippery, like slippery sliding all over the face. But this one, it had a bit more grab to it. So I guess as it dries down a little bit, it makes it a lot more um, user friendly when applying on the face. So I really like this. This is a definite repurchase. I love this stuff. And finally, the eyeshadow palette. I really like this as well. I think I think I should have probably thought about it a little bit more, maybe actually opened it. Um, I wanted to give my first impressions on camera, so um, maybe I should have, you know, tried to work out color combinations to get a better eye look, but I'm pretty happy how this turned out. Um, the foil shimmer shades I noticed didn't exactly want to blend with the mattes but after a little bit of coaxing they do and they don't lift up each other's colors or anything like that there was a tiny bit of color lift but there was no patchiness and all of that stuff they blend out quite well a couple of the shades did take a little bit more effort to blend out but besides that I'm really happy with this it's a very colorful palette and I I quite like this. This is a really good palette. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, I've tried a new brand. I found a couple new products that I absolutely adore, um, including, you know, the brow pomade and the palette. So they're the top two that I would highly recommend to you guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. And if you want more um, makeup reviews that are kind of this style as opposed to my regular style, then let me know because I think this gives more authentic first impressions. And but also at the same time, I'd love to play with makeup products to work out how they work and all of that. So um, I don't know, it's up to you guys. What style of makeup review do you personally prefer? So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you here for every single video. Like this video if you like the look or the style of this video. Comment down below if there's something you would like to see on this channel. Also, what format of makeup review would you prefer to see here? And I hope you all have a fantabulous, amazing, wonderful day. I love you guys. Bye.